Do you have a bunch of internal hard drives sitting around and you'd like to get the information off of them? I just picked up one of these and I want to do an unboxing of it with you because I think that you guys might like it if you're looking for a solution to that. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have and buy. <laughs> so if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up button is very much appreciated. And if you do decide to subscribe, make sure that you hit the bell next to the subscribe button that way you actually get notified of our videos so I just got back from Best Buy and I picked up the thermal take uh, for lack of a better word I don't really know what to call these things except a, like a hard drive dock or cradle so basically you have all these internal hard drives whether it's laptop or ones uh, from a computer and you can plug them into this dock and then the dock runs uh, this one's USB 3.0 by the way I'll link this up down in the description below in case you guys want to go and check it out read some more reviews on Amazon I saw that it had like four and something odd stars and tons of reviews so make sure to not just take my opinion for it use the link down in the description below and go and uh, learn a little bit more about uh, what you're getting into here supports uh, uh, SSD drives if you do have any SSD drives and uh, I'm curious if this is gonna work for Windows or Mac or both or what so I haven't gotten into that yet but let's do this uh, this little unboxing real quick got my good old trusty Gerber knife gotta have that around and score that right there pull this wrapper off so I have like 10 uh, internal hard drives I've just taken either from old computers and computer parts I found and whatnot and I know that on some of them I have some good information that I want to be able to access and I just haven't been able to access it because I I don't really have a computer well I guess I do have that one but uh, I just didn't have a good way to act an easy way to access it that's key right here hopefully this thing is easy which it sounds like it's gonna be um, so open this up and open and open Got a little styrofoam block here. Oh yeah, look, there we go. There we go, that's the, the dude right there. Got that, and then what's down here? Okay, oh okay, cords and stuff. So this one you do have to plug in. I kind of wish that all the power would flow through the USB cable, since it is USB 3, I, I would think that it should, but it doesn't. So you need this uh, power adapter here, right there brick uh, let's see let's check cord length you want to check cord length real quick <clears throat> it comes uh, twisted up so you got to untwist it and boom that is ooh, that is just shy of six feet that's probably five foot five foot cord I'll say with that one there and then on the uh, this is your data cord here it's a USB to what in the world look at this y'all know what kind of cord that is I've never seen that before. That's something new. Huh. So it's some kind of, it's like the old USB kind, but it's got this extra little nodule on the top. Is that something because it's a USB 3? Because I've never seen a USB 3 in this style before. That's got to be what it is. Then here's your docking station right here. It does come with instructions, by the way. If you don't know what you're doing, you can always refer to these. Uh, I don't know if it's a quick start or what. We'll get into that in just a second. Let's take a look at this dock station. This is the, what we want. All right. Slim, sleek profile. I shouldn't say slim, but sleek profile. Nice and black, kind of hide it in the back. Cord, there's your cord ports right there. It does, like I said, does laptop uh, hard drives, 2.5s, which will fit right there. Or this part opens up kind of like a, kind of like a Super Nintendo, and you can put your cartridge into there, your uh, external hard drive. This one supports two hard drives. I had two two terabyte part hard drives that I wouldn't, couldn't access or do anything with. So I figured I could at least dock those in here and like use this kind of as like a dump to just dump a whole bunch of files that I really don't use that often onto there. And so since I could access two of them, I thought that it, that would be even greater. Uh, so I decided to pick that up. But I am curious to see how this thing works out. This got some eject buttons on the side here. So whenever you're done with a hard drive, you press this, it'll pop it up and you can pull it out. Um, and then, it, like I was saying, it does come with some direction. It does have a warranty on it. It's not a lifetime warranty, womp womp. But it did have uh, a warranty. What was it? I know I saw it. I think it's a three-year warranty, if I'm not mistaken. Which is not bad. I can't find it. I could swear it said three-year warranty somewhere on here. Yeah, look right there. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Three year warranty right there. So it does come with that. And then there is this quick start guide here. Like I said, if you guys want to check this out, I'm going to link it up down in the description below. This is a great way to uh, access, man, this thing's written in all kinds of languages, to access the data on some old drives that you might have. But it seems like it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, looks like that is Windows right there. Oh, look, works on Windows and Mac. Nice, that's awesome. So I, because I have both a Windows machine and a Mac machine, so I can use it on both. That's sweet. Great. Awesome. So if you guys, like I said, want to check this out, linked up down in the description below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to watch more of the dad reviews, I'm going to put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watch more of our videos. If you uh, want to subscribe to the dad reviews, click that circle right there in the middle. Click the subscribe button. And then if you like what we're doing here, make sure to hit the bell. That way you actually get notified of our videos. If you have a product that you want us to review, let me know down in the comments uh, below what it is, and I'll see if I can get it for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and dad out.